Hello everyone. Welcome back to Scratch Programming. Children, in today's class we will learn about events block. Let's start. Here children, uh, you can see events block and most of the block in events block are a kind of hat block. Okay, hat blocks means uh, the bump you can see over the top of these blocks means you cannot attach these blocks below any block okay these blocks will always be top on the script why because whenever you want that your sprite will start moving whenever you want that your uh, program will start functioning so we can use these head blocks okay so first block is when flag is clicked so most of the time you have used this block okay so whenever uh, we are uh, uh, working in our presentation mode so and we want to start our program we can use this flag only green flag only so uh, by clicking this green flag our uh, function or our project will start working only if we will use this when flag is clicked in our program so i'll show you here i have taken two sprites now let me add few things here so in the repeat block I am using move 10 steps and turn 15 degree okay so fine so here see I'll show you one more time so how we can start executing this we just need to click on the flag and our sprite will start working okay it is started its movement so this is how we can use this when flag is clicked in the same way if you want to uh, do something else on any other sprite then also you can use like here when flag is clicked and now i want i want that whenever my program will start my duck will start moving but frog will get hide so here i am using when flag is clicked now So at the moment when I click on the flag, my duck started rotating, it started its movement and frog will get high. Okay, now here children, the next block here we have when space key pressed. So uh, you can put the same movement here, movement on your sprite when you click on the space key. Now here I am attaching the same block just below the when space uh, space keys pressed now children you can see i am clicking on the flag but nothing is happening here okay why because now i have attached these blocks uh, under the when space keys pressed now i am pressing the space key from my keyboard and see like this okay like this so uh, this is how we can use this when space keys pressed now next we have when the sprite clicked now sometimes in our program we want that our uh, uh, sprite will move or our sprite will do something only when we click on that particular sprite right so now here i am putting these blocks below the sprite uh, sorry below this head block when the sprite is clicked now see i am clicking flag nothing is happening here i am pressing space key nothing is happening here but in the stage area now i'll click on this see like this so you just need to click on the sprite and then only the block of code will start executing okay so whenever you want that your script will execute only when you click on the sprite then you can use this when the sprite is clicked now next we have when backdrop switches to now this means that you want that your script uh, script will start working when your backdrop will switch to any other backdrop okay here you can see i have two black backdrops only backdrop one and backdrop blue sky two so here this is blue sky two now i am choosing backdrop one now let me go to looks block and switch to backdrop okay so here children you can see it's blue sky too and now you can see nothing is happening here okay nothing is happening here now i am changing the backdrop to one and now see 
now it is working okay so whenever my uh, backdrop will get changed okay let me do one thing uh, let me set the backdrop backdrop is already here now when the flag is clicked when the flag will get clicked it will automatically change the backdrop to backdrop one and when backdrop switches to backdrop one then only it will start executing okay so now i am clicking on green flag because after clicking on green flag only it will change the backdrop now see backdrop is changed and now uh, now my sprite is started moving now here i am changing it blue sky to see now i am clicking on green flag but nothing is happening here why because here i have set switch backdrop to backdrop one and here my sprite will move only when it will switch uh, when only when backdrop will switch to blue sky too now i am changing the settings here now i am putting here blue sky too now i am starting it again see at the moment backdrop will change at the same time my sprite will start moving okay so uh, this is the working of when backdrop is switch okay next we have loudness i'll show you here loudness so uh, our sprite will moving uh, as per the loudness okay loudness is a sensing block here i'll show you see this is the loudness okay i am talking here and you can see change in the loudness so whenever uh, the loudness will greater than 40 then only our sprite will start moving okay. so here I am talking very slowly loudness is not uh, going above 40 so that's why my sprite is not moving now start see at the moment when my loudness will go above 40 it will start moving immediately start okay so this is how we can use it so at any point of time you want that your sprite will moving as per the loudness or timer or video motion so you can use these things okay so timer these are sensing blocks only we said timer so here timer is there i'll show you the timer see it is moving okay so let me put into the forever block so that it will repeat itself forever okay let me remove this okay so now when the timer and let me reset the timer here let me stop this thing and see at the moment when the timer will hit above the 40 okay let me change here we can't wait till then no wait. let me stop programming here i am resetting resetting everything and see now the timer has started and now timer will go above 10 then our sprite will start it its movement means it will rotate like this see like this so at the moment it will go above the 10 it started execution of these blocks like this okay so this is how we can use with the timer in the same way we can use it with the motion also so in motion what will happen uh, it will start the video and uh, then it will uh, take the motion from the camera only okay next we have in events let me stop moments okay let me put it back so next block we have when i receive message okay so now what i am doing here now when i receive broadcast and broadcast and wait okay so i'll show you here remove this so when flag is clicked uh sensing block and check wait okay now here you can see in when flag is clicked i have put forever move 10 and 15 now what i want i'll put it in the repeat block here wait a minute 
I am putting it into the repeat block and now what I want the things will happen but after rotation of 20 times means repetition of these things 20 times my sprite will send a message because now you can see my frog is hidden still right so now what I want give me one sec now I want that my sprite uh, the other sprite the froggy will be visible so I am broadcasting a message after 20 repetition new message click hey froggy come back okay and click ok so here I have put message hey froggy come back now in the frog what I am doing still you can see when flag is click it will get high now when I receive means when the frog will receive the same message it will now show and then I am putting and then it will say hey I'm back okay so let's start so what we have done we have used first event block here broadcast the message so we have broadcasted this message and in frog we have used when I receive this broadcasted message so whenever it will receive the message it will say it will be visible and then it will say hey so let's start this thing see it is rotating and the same time it is broadcasting the message and then our frog is again here okay let me add few weight here so that you can see wait two seconds and in froggy we'll increase the time here now see see its movement then it will wait and then it will broadcast the message and when it will when frog will receive the message it will say something okay so this is how we can use events block whenever we want to start the event uh, at particular point uh, by when flag is clicked or when uh, certain key is pressed here you can see in when space I'll show you here for this duck okay so here you can see I have used it here uh, when flag is clicked you can use the same thing with any key any key means here at the space next to space you can see a small triangle is there see space up arrow down arrow right arrow left arrow so at any point of time you want any other key from the keyboard to start execution of something so you can use this I am using left arrow now and now I am clicking on flag nothing is happening now I am clicking on left see at the moment I have clicked left arrow it will start execution right so this is how we can use these blocks to start event in our project. So children uh, that's all about event blog. If you like my video please click on thumbs up and share it with your friends and subscribe for further updates. Other videos related to scratch programming and uh, uh, the videos that I have made earlier I'll attach the playlist here at the end screen. Thank you. Have a nice day.